Have you ever wondered why it feels like no matter what you do, some people just seem to have it all figured out, while others always seem to be stumbling through life's challenges? Well, you're not alone, and the ancient philosophy of Stoicism has some insightful answers that might just change how you see things. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to join our journey into the world of practical wisdom and personal growth. If you find today's video enlightening, don't forget to like, share, and drop a comment below. Here's a little challenge for you. After watching, comment with one area of your life where you could apply stoic principles to improve. I'm curious to see what you come up with, and I'll be right there in the comments to discuss it with you. In today's video, we're diving into the stoic way of tackling some common yet complex personal and interpersonal issues. From understanding the importance of self-awareness and managing our perceptions of others, to navigating the tricky waters of ego and emotional responses and arguments, Stoicism provides tools that can help us lead more rational and fulfilling lives. So let's get started and explore these timeless insights that can make a real difference in our everyday experiences. 1. Understanding Self-Awareness Self-awareness is the conscious knowledge of one's own character, feelings, motives, and desires. This concept is crucial because it allows us to understand our limitations and capabilities, acting as a grounding mechanism in both personal growth and interactions with others. In the philosophy of Stoicism, self-awareness is not just about knowing oneself, but also about being honest about one's own ignorance and limitations. This honesty is the first step toward wisdom. Consider the situation where someone believes they are good at something, say singing, without ever having critical feedback. They might sing loudly at family gatherings, believing they are entertaining the crowd, when in fact the audience might be cringing or just being polite. The singer lacks self-awareness, not just of their singing ability, but also of how they are perceived by others. The Stoics believe that without self-awareness, we can easily become our own worst enemies. We might pursue paths that are not suitable for us, or hold on to beliefs that are blatantly wrong, because we have never challenged our own perspectives. By fostering self-awareness, Stoics advocate for a life where one continuously questions their own judgments and recognizes their biases. A practical example of self-awareness in action can be seen in debates or discussions. Someone who is self-aware will recognize the limits of their knowledge on a topic. They will listen more than they speak, ask questions, and be open to learning from others. In contrast, a person lacking self-awareness might dominate the conversation, talk over others, and dismiss opposing views, all because they overestimate their own understanding. To develop self-awareness, Stoicism teaches the practice of daily reflections, which involves reviewing one's thoughts, words, and actions at the end of the day to evaluate their appropriateness and alignment with one's values. This practice helps identify areas of ignorance and misunderstanding, allowing for continuous personal growth. 2. Managing Emotions in Arguments In any heated debate or argument, it's common for emotions to run high. People often let their feelings take over, leading to shouting matches where no one is really listening to each other. The stoic approach to managing emotions in arguments is based on maintaining rationality and composure, focusing on the argument itself rather than getting swayed by emotional responses. The stoics taught that we should strive to control what is within our power, our own reactions and emotions while accepting that we cannot control others' reactions or the outcomes of debates. This perspective is incredibly useful in arguments as it promotes a calm and focused discussion rather than an emotional battle. For instance, imagine discussing a topic you are passionate about, like animal rights, with someone who has opposing views. A non-stoic approach might involve trying to overpower the other person with emotional pleas and getting frustrated if they don't agree. A Stoic, however, would focus on presenting clear arguments, listening to the other person's perspective, and addressing the points with logic and calmness. They understand that the goal of the argument is not to win in the traditional sense, 
but to exchange ideas and possibly enlighten one another. Managing emotions and arguments also involves recognizing when the discussion is tipping from productive to destructive. Stoics would suggest withdrawing from an argument that becomes overly emotional or personal because it no longer serves the purpose of rational discourse. They emphasize that sometimes the wisest thing to do is to agree to disagree, maintaining respect for one another's viewpoints without forcing a consensus. In everyday life, applying stoic principles to manage emotions in arguments means taking a moment to breathe and think before responding, choosing words carefully, and always aiming to understand the other person's point of view. This not only makes the discussion more fruitful, but also helps maintain relationships and respect between different parties. 3. Ego and Self-Deception Ego and self-deception are common traits that often go hand in hand, blurring our perception of reality and truth. Ego, in this context, refers to an inflated sense of self-importance or superiority. Self-deception is the act of misleading oneself to believe something that is not true, often to feel better about oneself. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that emphasizes rationality and self-control, provides valuable insights on how to manage these tendencies. The Stoics teach that ego and self-deception are barriers to personal growth and understanding. They prevent us from seeing ourselves and the world as they truly are. For instance, consider someone who believes they are a fantastic driver simply because they have never been in a major accident. This belief may lead them to drive recklessly, thinking they can handle any situation on the road. Here, their ego, overconfidence in their driving skills, combined with self-deception, ignoring the role of luck and the possibility of unseen risks, could lead to dangerous outcomes. In another example, imagine a manager who thinks he is well-loved by his team because he often makes decisions unilaterally, believing he is saving his team from the stress of decision-making. However, if he took the time to genuinely listen to his employees, he might find they feel undervalued and stifled. His ego prevents him from seeking this feedback, and his self-deception allows him to believe he is doing the best for his team. Stoicism teaches us to challenge our perceptions and beliefs, asking us to reflect critically on our thoughts and actions. It encourages the practice of seeing things from multiple perspectives and questioning our initial judgments. For the Stoics, wisdom comes from recognizing our own biases and limitations. To combat ego and self-deception, Stoicism advocates for practices like daily self-examination and meditation, where one reflects on their day and evaluates their actions and motivations honestly. This can help identify moments when ego and self-deception might have clouded judgment. Moreover, Stoicism encourages us to seek honest feedback from others. This can be a powerful antidote to self-deception as it provides an external perspective on our behavior and beliefs. Engaging in open and honest conversations with trusted friends or mentors can help us see where we might be deceiving ourselves or letting our ego lead us astray. 4. Fear of Intelligence the fear of intelligence is a peculiar aspect of human psychology, where people may feel threatened or intimidated by those who display high levels of intellectual ability. This fear can lead to avoidance behaviors, where individuals shy away from engaging with or challenging intellectually superior peers. Stoicism, with its emphasis on self-control and rationality, offers a way to confront and overcome this fear. Consider a scenario where you are at a social gathering, and you meet someone who starts discussing a complex topic like quantum physics or advanced mathematics. You might feel out of your depth and consequently avoid engaging in the conversation or dismiss the topic as irrelevant. This reaction is partly due to a fear of exposing your own lack of knowledge and partly because the intellectual prowess of the other person makes you feel inferior. The stoic approach to this situation would be to view it as an opportunity for learning rather than a threat to your ego. Stoics believe that wisdom and virtue are the highest goods, and they see every interaction as a chance to learn something new. Instead of feeling threatened, 
A Stoic might ask questions and express genuine curiosity about the topic, using the conversation as a learning opportunity. Moreover, Stoics practice what is called the view from above, a technique where they consider situations from a broader perspective. From this viewpoint, the fear of intellectual inferiority appears trivial in the grand scheme of things. This practice helps reduce the emotional impact of such fears and encourages a more rational evaluation of the situation. Stoicism also teaches that we should only concern ourselves with things within our control. The intelligence of another person is not something we can change, but our reaction to it is. By focusing on our response, we can choose to approach such situations with humility and openness instead of fear and defensiveness. Finally, Stoics strive to cultivate a sense of confidence in their ability to handle whatever comes their way, not through arrogance, but through the understanding that they can endure and learn from any situation. This mindset can help overcome the fear of intelligence, as it reassures us that being in the presence of someone smarter does not diminish our own worth. 5. Value of Questioning and Doubt in the realm of personal development and knowledge acquisition, questioning and doubt hold significant value, a concept strongly endorsed by Stoic philosophy. Stoics believe that questioning our assumptions and doubting our own conclusions are crucial for achieving a deeper understanding of the world and ourselves. This process of constant inquiry and skepticism ensures that we do not become complacent with superficial understanding or accept beliefs without thorough examination. Imagine you are confident about a particular political stance because it aligns with your family's long-held beliefs. However, instead of just accepting these views unchallenged, applying stoic principles would mean actively questioning why you hold these beliefs and what evidence supports them. By engaging in this critical examination, you might discover new perspectives or strengthen your current ones with reasoned arguments instead of mere tradition. In everyday situations, the stoic practice of questioning and doubt can be transformative. For example, if a friend cancels plans at the last minute, your initial reaction might be frustration or suspicion about their reason. Instead of succumbing to these reactions, stoicism teaches us to question our immediate responses and consider alternative explanations, perhaps recognizing that unforeseen circumstances can arise. This approach not only broadens our understanding, but also fosters empathy and patience. To cultivate the habit of questioning and doubt, Stoics recommend practices such as engaging in discussions with others who have different viewpoints, reading broadly, and reflecting on the reasons behind our beliefs and actions. This practice, known as dialectic and stoic terminology, enhances our ability to see things from multiple angles and to understand the complexity of issues, reducing the likelihood of holding on to erroneous or oversimplified views. Moreover, stoicism advises us to embrace the discomfort that questioning and doubt can sometimes bring. It is comfortable to stick with familiar thoughts and beliefs, but growth often requires stepping out of our comfort zones. By welcoming uncertainty and being open to finding out we were wrong, we make room for new knowledge and personal development. 6. False Confidence versus True Knowledge False confidence often arises from a lack of self-awareness and an overestimation of one's abilities, as discussed earlier with the Dunning-Kruger effect. This false confidence can lead individuals to make poor decisions, underestimate risks, and close themselves off to learning opportunities. In contrast, true knowledge is rooted in an accurate understanding of one's capabilities and limitations, combined with a continual openness to learning and self-improvement. Stoicism, with its focus on virtue and wisdom, provides a framework for distinguishing between these two and aligning oneself more with true knowledge. Consider the example of a new employee who, driven by false confidence, immediately asserts bold opinions in meetings without fully understanding the company's history or the complexities of current projects. This behavior not only could lead to mistakes, but also might alienate colleagues. 
A Stoic approach would counsel humility and the pursuit of true knowledge through listening, asking questions, and gradually contributing ideas grounded in a growing understanding of the situation. True knowledge, according to Stoicism, involves recognizing the limits of our knowledge and continually striving to expand it. This is different from false confidence, where one might cling to their initial beliefs and resist any information that contradicts them. To foster true knowledge, Stoics suggest maintaining what is known as the beginner's mind, an attitude of openness and eagerness to learn, free from preconceptions about how much we think we know. In practical terms, aligning more with true knowledge means actively seeking feedback, engaging in lifelong learning, and practicing self-reflection. For instance, someone might keep a journal where they regularly assess their decisions and the thought processes behind them, openly acknowledging mistakes and noting lessons learned. This practice not only diminishes false confidence, but also builds a more solid foundation of true knowledge. 7. The Role of Perception in Evaluating Others Perception plays a critical role in how we evaluate and interact with others. It shapes our understanding of people's actions, intentions, and capabilities. However, our perceptions can often be biased, incomplete, or distorted by our own experiences and emotions. Stoicism, with its emphasis on reason and objectivity, offers valuable insights on how to manage and refine our perceptions to foster more accurate and fair evaluations of others. Imagine you are driving and notice someone speeding past you, weaving through traffic. Your initial reaction might be annoyance or judgment, labeling the driver as reckless or irresponsible. However, Stoicism encourages us to pause and consider alternative explanations that we might not immediately see. Perhaps the driver is rushing to an emergency or has received distressing news. By acknowledging these possibilities, we challenge our initial perceptions and prevent unfair judgments. This stoic practice is not about finding excuses for every behavior, but about recognizing the complexity behind human actions and the limits of our understanding. When we evaluate others based solely on our initial perceptions, we risk misunderstanding their true intentions and abilities. Stoicism teaches us to suspend immediate judgments and gather more information where possible, promoting a more balanced and compassionate view of others. Furthermore, Stoicism highlights the importance of self-reflection in shaping our perceptions. Often, our evaluations of others are more reflective of our own state of mind and personal biases than of the other person's true characteristics. For instance, if we are feeling insecure or threatened, we might perceive others' successes as showing off or undermining our own achievements. Stoics advise us to examine why we feel the way we do and whether our emotions are clouding our judgment. To apply Stoic principles to our perceptions effectively, we can practice the discipline of epoch, which involves suspending judgment to better understand the situation or behavior in question. This can be particularly useful in complex social interactions such as workplace dynamics or family disagreements, where quick judgments can lead to conflicts or misunderstandings. Another Stoic practice is the view from above, a technique that involves imagining looking down on a situation from a higher perspective to see it more objectively. This can help us see the bigger picture and reduce the impact of personal biases. For example, in a heated discussion, adopting this view can remind us that the disagreement is just one small part of a larger relationship and that maintaining harmony might be more important than proving a point. In addition to these practices, Stoicism encourages us to cultivate virtues such as empathy and understanding, which are essential for fair and accurate perceptions. By striving to understand people's contexts and backgrounds, we can better appreciate their behaviors and motivations, leading to more effective and positive interactions. By refining our perceptions through Stoic practices, we not only foster better relationships, but also develop a deeper understanding of the world around us. This approach encourages us to live with integrity and compassion, qualities that enhance not only our personal well-being, but also the well-being of our communities. 
As we wrap up today's exploration of Stoicism and its practical applications in our daily lives, we hope you've gained valuable insights into how this ancient philosophy can help us manage our perceptions, emotions, and interactions more effectively. By understanding the principles of self-awareness, managing emotions in arguments, overcoming the fear of intelligence, and refining our perceptions of others, we can navigate life's challenges with greater calm and rationality. Remember, the journey to applying Stoic principles is ongoing and requires practice and reflection. It's about making small adjustments to our mindset and behaviors, which can lead to significant improvements in how we feel and relate to the world around us. If today's video sparked new thoughts or helped clarify some tricky aspects of your life, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with someone who might also benefit. Your support helps us keep producing content that can make a difference. And about that little challenge we said at the beginning, comment below with one area of your life where you could apply stoic principles. It could be anything from handling stress at work to improving your relationships at home. I can't wait to see the diverse ways you all choose to bring stoicism into your lives. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep striving towards a more thoughtful and virtuous life. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.